So if you've been told you've had a pituitary lesion, the first thing to understand is the normal ana anatomy in this area. You have to remember the pituitary gland measures about the size of a kidney bean and sits right at the base of the brain, right above the ear lobes and right in the middle of the head. And it controls all the hormones in our body. And that's why we call this the master gland. And as lesions, whether it be a tumor or a cyst, grow within the pituitary gland, there's a th I kind of break it down to three problems it can cause. The tumor itself, because it arose out of the pituitary gland, can actually make one of the hormones the gland makes. And these are called secreting tumors. They can cause syndromes like uh, hyperprolactinemia, elevated prolactin levels. They can cause Cushing's disease or acromegaly. However, later in life, the majority of these tumors do not make any hormones. So then as the tumor grows, the second thing that happens is the gland gets compressed. Two things can't live in the same space. And so whereas the average tumor size may be the size of a walnut or a, or a golf ball, you can imagine taking a golf ball and squeezing it into a kidney bean. What happens over time is the gland gets compressed. And as you slowly squeeze the gland, the hormones the gland makes slowly shut down. Typically the first hormone that's lost is growth hormone, hence why in kids, uh, short stature is one of the most common symptoms that develop. However, after puberty, we don't grow any taller. And so even though most adults will lose growth hormone, they'll be asymptomatic. The next hormone that shuts down are the sex hormones. So in women, it causes premature menopause. That's why oftentimes we'll catch these tumors when they're smaller. In men, the same thing happens, but they lose their testosterone. And unfortunately, as is most of the case, we kind of write this off and saying I'm getting older, or that's not oftentimes picked up. The third hormone that shuts down is thyroid but you really need a large tumor and a loss of a lot of gland before you lose that hormone. And the last hormone to shut down is cortisol, which is a steroid hormone. Now thyroid and cortisol are both hormones of metabolism, and so it makes sense that the last two hormones your body is willing to give up. But all these hormones have to be evaluated in all patients before we consider any treatment. And the last thing we worry about is that the tumor outgrows the cavity, which is called the cella turcica, that it sits in. And so it starts pushing on other structures, the most important of which are the optic nerves. Right above the pituitary gland are the nerves that go from the eyes back to the brain carrying all the visual information. And as these tumors grow, they can slowly stretch those nerves and cause progressive vision loss. Now the body is pretty adaptive. Since these tumors grow slowly, there are some patients who will lose up to 50% of their vision and still not realize it. Eventually, once it starts affecting central vision, people start noticing vision loss and that's when we oftentimes diagnose these tumors. But by that point, the tumors are already quite large.